Okay guys, I am going to do a couple of practice problems for you. Um, so let's start with, this is actually number six. So let's start with this one. Um, Maggie bought nine pairs for $3.78. How much did each pair cost? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write out what we know. So I know that she bought a total of nine pairs. And that total amount is $3.78. So we want to know, cause I, right here, nine pairs, $3. She wants to know how much each pair, each pair cost. So I know that each means one. So I'm gonna write one pair equals blank okay so what we're going to do is we're going to divide and we're got we've got to figure out you know what we're going to be splitting up so um, we need to figure out how much money they cost so we are going to figure out three dollars seventy eight cents into nine well divided by nine. So we're gonna break up the, we're gonna figure out how many times nine can go into $3.78. So <clears throat> we are going to write nine into $3.78. Now, what we noticed from yesterday of learning how to divide decimals, um, is that in your divisor, this number, um, if it's not a whole number, we need to make it a whole number. Well, in this case, it is already a whole number. So what you're gonna do is, since we're not doing anything to the divisor, we're not gonna do anything to the dividend. So we're going to move this decimal up here, okay? That's the only thing we're gonna do, and now we are ready to divide. So obviously, Looking at this, um, we know that nine can't go into three, so I'm gonna put a zero as a placeholder. And now we're gonna look at 37. So I know that nine times four <clears throat> is 36. So I'm going to put four right here. And that's as close as we can get to 37. So I'm gonna do nine times four, and then we know that that is 36, and we're gonna subtract. So seven minus six is one. We're gonna bring down our eight. Nine can go into 18 two times, because nine times two is 18. So then nine times two is 18, and that is zero, okay? Um, so, make sure that you are writing out all of your notes for the problem and that you, so that you know how to solve it. So our answer is one pair equals 42 cents. Okay, now let's go on to our next problem. I'm gonna do this go a little bit faster make sure you um, paused the video to take notes. If you didn't, you can rewind and go back and pause it. Um, so our second problem is actually going to be number one. So Marcy buys 12 iced teas for the people in her office. Okay, each iced tea is a dollar seventy-two. About, let's rewrite that. about how much 
apologize. Marcy pay for the iced tea. Now remember, when you are looking at a problem and you're trying to figure out, okay, am I going to add, subtract, multiply, divide? We need to figure out, is our number going to be bigger or is it going to be smaller? So like in our um, previous problem, we knew that, um, we knew that Maggie spent a total of $3.78. So our number can't be any bigger than $3.78 because that's how much she spent when she was, um, you know, buying these pairs. So we knew that our number is gonna be smaller. Well, let's look at this one. So we know that she buys a total of 12 iced teas, but we know that each iced tea is $1.72. So remember, each, can be one. So one T is a dollar seventy-two. So obviously if she's buying twelve teas, twelve iced teas, it's going to be more than that because one iced tea is a dollar seventy-two and we know that she bought twelve. So what we need to do is we need to multiply but what are we going to multiply another important word in our problem is about so remember about means that we are going to estimate so we are going to round this number so what i like to do is i like to round to the nearest whole number so remember we need to remember our, we need to go back and remember our saying. So, four or less, let it rest. Five or more, let it soar. So, if we are rounding a dollar seventy-two, and we are trying to figure out this number, we are going to first look at this number. So, we're going to look at the seven, and we're going to decide, is it four or less? to keep the number one the same, or is it five or more to make this number one go up one? So I know, we know that obviously seven is more than five. So because of that, this is going to become two. So now, what we're, now we're ready to multiply. Since we know our number is going to be bigger, this number is going to be bigger because if she bought one tea for $1.72 and she's going to buy 12, it can't be less than $1.72 because she's buying more than one. So then what we're gonna do is we're going to multiply 12 by two, 12 by two. So two times two is four, two times one is two. So she is going to spend about $24. Remember, it's not an exact number because we estimated, we rounded our, our exact price. So it can't be an exact, she's not gonna spend exactly $24. She might spend a little bit more than that. She might spend a little bit less, but it is about, she will spend about $24. All right, guys, I hope this helped you. Um, so I did numbers one and six for you. The rest of the practice problems you are going to do independently. Um, we will talk about them tomorrow during our Zoom meeting. So if you have any ones that you are struggling with or have questions about, mark them, like write a note and say, I had a question about number eight. I had a question about number four. Um, just so that you remember which ones you had questions about so that we can talk about them in our Zoom meeting on Wednesday. Um, and yeah, I hope all of you have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye.